What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another video and today guys we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than what I normally do on my channel which is Madden. We're gonna be talking about some huge news that broke this past weekend regarding CM Punk, the WWE superstar or former WWE superstar now who actually signed with the UFC. Yes, he will be competing in an actual fight in 2015 that's the rumor we don't know that for certain there isn't a guarantee on exactly when he's going to be fighting at this point uh but in the background of today's video you are going to be watching me play wwe 2k14 the game that came out about a month ago and uh it's going to be cm punk versus ryback i just did this for fun so that you guys can get some gameplay in the background instead of just watching my ugly mug but anyways guys uh this is some big news it really really is from a, a multiple standpoints uh first thing obviously cm punk huge name in the pro wrestling business he's not a john cena he's not the rock he's not even brock lesnar to be honest with you but he is a huge name as far as pro wrestling goes and that's something that i think the ufc definitely needs to keep pulling over they need to keep getting the fans that were our former pro wrestling fans bring them over to the ufc or even people that are still pro wrestling fans bring them over to the ufc expose them to the product and i understand ufc and, M and the wwe are not direct competitors i'm not trying to say that the ufc is trying to steal from the WWE but now you know get those people who are looking for something a little bit more than what they get in the WWE currently and are looking for a little bit more legitimacy in the product and, and again that's not to hate on the WWE I'm a huge fan of pro wrestling always have been always probably will be but you know the UFC does bring that interesting dynamic where you actually are going to see guys actually fight and that's what CM Punk is going to be doing now for a living which kind of blows my mind I know this guy is somebody who has been training off and on in jiu-jitsu for a couple of years now and i think that he does bring some legitimacy to some extent to the sport you know i, I don't think that he's just a guy who is a, a pro wrestler that's going to try and bring pro wrestling moves into the to the ufc that's not going to happen this guy does have legitimate experience but he doesn't have legitimate experience as far as full mma goes this guy has never been in a real fight he's never had to actually go up against top level talent or anything like that and that's what he's going to face in the ufc or presumably anyway now as of today the ufc and dana white actually brought out some information and they basically said that they're not going to throw cm punk to the sharks which is interesting to me because the UFC and Dana White have long made fun of other promotions that have done these gimmicky, like, you know, Godzilla versus, you know, Tiny Guy type of fights, um, you know, David versus Goliath type of fights in, in Pride and uh, in other promotions. And then, you know, they're bringing in guys like Kimbo Slice to fight in the Lead XC. And the UFC made fun of that, right? And then they ended up bringing in James Tony, a former pro boxer who had zero MMA experience and just wanted to fight to show what pussies the UFC fighters were and how boxing is so much better. Well, that didn't work well for James Tony, did it? And I'm not saying, CM Punk is not saying that about the UFC. He's not talking smack about the fighters and in mixed martial arts. But what he is kind of doing is, in my opinion, almost disregarding the reality that the guys that are fighting in the UFC have been doing this for years. There are very, very, very few guys who have less than five years of experience doing MMA. And that's the truth. I mean, almost everybody that you see fighting in the UFC right now has years and years of experience doing this. They've been training every day, not off and on. And I'm not trying to say that CM Punk can't eventually be legitimate, but this guy's already 36 years old. And now you're putting him in there against guys who are at the top of the sport, but maybe not because now they're talking, like I said, they're maybe going to put him in there against somebody who's 0-0 as well or 0-1, 0-2. And if they do that, the UFC is kind of going back on what they were saying before about how they don't want to have these gimmicky fights. Well, if they do this, if they put CM Punk in there against somebody who doesn't have any experience and it's basically a, a throwaway fight, you know, or a, a way to get CM Punk a win, what's the point? From a standpoint of at least giving legitimacy to their product, it doesn't really do much. I mean, obviously, it gives legitimacy to CM Punk because he's going to fight for a living and, and beat somebody up, possibly. But if he's not fighting somebody who's actually a decent fighter, somebody who has UFC experience, even if it was a loss, I don't see how you can really go out there and say that CM Punk is actually fighting in the UFC. It's basically like taking... I don't want to directly compare this because I'm sure they're not going to take a literal bum off the street, but, you know, somebody that doesn't have the, the same type of uh, type of experience that another fighter does, that, that should be in that spot. It's kind of unfortunate. 
and I understand the the way that you want to have these guys in there to get you know some sort of exposure to your company the UFC has struggled this year as far as their pay-per-view buy rates go and they're and obviously if Dana White's watching this he's cussing me out right now as he watches this video but the truth is is that their numbers are not as high this year as they were and this is on a per event basis in years past and a lot of that has to do with the fact that they have too many fights but it also has to do with the fact that they're actually missing some of their biggest stars obviously Anderson Silva got injured George St. Pierre has been injured and he kind of semi quasi retired we don't really know what the situation is with that Brock Lesnar left the company a couple of years ago of course and he was the biggest draw that they ever had in as far as uh, UFC goes so it's interesting to me that now they're deciding to branch into getting somebody who is more of a, a showman and not necessarily somebody that has the experience as a top level fighter and that's basically what CM Punk is at this point he's somebody who I think is going to do things very very well he's going to do exactly what the ufc wants he's going to put butts in the seats he's going to make people buy the pay-per-views and he's going to sell more pay-per-views for the ufc than he ever did for the wwe in my opinion and the reason for it is because he's going to have that base ufc crowd which is pretty big and then he's also going to take from the wwe side of things the people that want to see this guy and see if he actually is a legitimate fighter i don't think it's going to be quite as many people as, Bro as uh, we're buying brock lesnar's fights but Brock Lesnar also had a level of legitimacy that CM Punk doesn't. Former NCAA champion as far as wrestling goes. And uh, he had been training for a few years before he stepped in the ring. Or before he stepped in the cage, I should say. So it's going to be interesting to, to see kind of how things turn out here. I do think this is a good move for the UFC as far as, you know, gaining uh, people to watch their product and making money. I think it's a, a solid move. It's smart on their part. But from a standpoint of can CM Punk actually beat a legitimate fighter? My personal opinion is right now, no. Even if he gets a full year to train, which we're talking about being a possibility, he said sometime in 2015. Could be end of 2015. He could have a full year of training, only MMA, and I still don't think he could beat anybody that's currently on the UFC roster at 170 pounds or 185 pounds. Just my personal opinion. I want to hear what you guys have to say, though. Are you excited to see CM Punk fight in the UFC? Do you think that he has a legitimate chance to actually make a run? Or do you think that the limited amount of jujitsu experience is not going to be enough for him to actually compete? Is he going to have to be in there against a bum that really doesn't have any experience and, and shouldn't be in the UFC or what? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And press that like button if you did enjoy it. Of course, that's how we grow this channel. And, you know, if you guys want to see more WWE or UFC type analysis, I would love to do that for you guys as well. So press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.